Today, on the 18th of November, the Church remembers St. Rose Philippine de Chêne. Let us listen on and reflect a little on her life. St. Rose was born into a family with wealth and political connections on August 29, 1769 in Grenoble, France. Her father, Pierre-François Duchesne, was a lawyer, businessman and prominent civic leader in Grenoble, while her mother, Rose Perrier, was a member of a leading family from the Dauphine region. From the young age of eight, St. Rose had a desire to evangelize in the Americas, sparked by hearing a Jesuit missionary speak of his work there. She received a basic education at home from tutors and religious education from her mother. Educated from age 12 at the convent of the Visitation Nuns in Grenoble, Rose joined them in 1788 at age 19 without the permission or knowledge of her family. Initially, they were violently opposed to her choice but finally gave in. In 1804, she joined the Society of the Sacred Heart, which sent her to the United States in 1818. From the convent and school she founded at St. Charles, she travelled over a wide area, founding schools for girls, doing charitable work, and finally ministering to Native Americans. St. Rose Duchesne was a valiant missionary and a well-known benefactress. She spent her last ten years in retirement in a tiny shack at the convent in St. Charles, Missouri, where she lived austerely and in constant prayer. She died on November 18, 1852 at St. Charles, Missouri. She was beatified on May 12, 1940 by Pope Pius XI and canonized on July 3, 1988 by Pope John Paul II. She is often referred to as the Lady of Mercy or the woman who always prays. While others taught she prayed, legend has it that Native American children sneaked behind her as she knelt and sprinkled bits of paper on her habit and came back hours later to find them undisturbed. Having heard this short biography on St. Rose, let us get inspired to imitate her life of prayer, place our petitions before her, and all together say, St. Rose Duchesne, pray for us.